in this unit you will learn control structures you will learn how control structures control the execution of java statements you will also learn java selection statement and while repetition structure we will write some programs to illustrate the use of control statements after completing this unit you will be able to understand what is a control structure understand normal program execution understand conditional program execution write programs using conditional statements write programs using java selection and iteration statements before writing a computer program you must decide the sequence in which the instructions will be executed the instructions may be executed in three different ways that is in linear fashion that is from top to bottom specific instructions may be executed depending on some condition or instructions may be executed repeatedly java provides three control structures that control the execution of program instructions these selection structures are sequence control selection structure and repetition structure selection structure includes if if else and switch statements repetition structure include while do while and for statements now we will see how sequence control structure works in sequence control structure the instructions are executed in the sequence in which they are written in the program that is from top to bottom let us see how this program executes the instructions when the program starts execution line 1 is executed first then line 2 and so on nothing is visible to the user since lines 1 to 4 do not have any output statements line 5 and 6 are executed in the sequence in which they are written and the word hello is printed first and the word there is printed next java's control statements are nearly identical to c c++ but there are certain differences especially in the break and continue statements now we will discuss selection statements in detail selection control statements allow the program to choose different paths of execution based on an expression or the boolean variable there are two selection statements in java that are if and switch these statements allow you to control the flow of your program execution based on conditions known only during run time let us briefly look at the if statement the if statement is java's conditional branch statement if statement can be used to select a path from two set of statements general form of if statement is if keyword followed by condition inside the braces followed by a single statement statement is executed if the condition is true another general form of if with else part is if keyword followed by condition inside the braces followed by single statement else keyword and a single statement if you want to execute more statements then you have to enclose them in curly braces this may look like shown in this figure the condition is any expression that returns a boolean true or false value in if statement else clause is optional now let us see how if condition works if the condition is true then statements in the block that is written after if statement and before the else statements are executed otherwise the statements that are written in block after else keyword are executed both blocks of statements are not executed in any case let us discuss if statement with an example this program segment contains three statements line 1 declares two integer variables and assigns values to these variables line 3 contains if statement that evaluates the conditional expression a is less than b since the value stored in variable a is less than b this conditional expression returns true and line 3 prints the message enclosed in the quotes 
Let us see another example that has three statements after if statement. Since these are not written in the block, Java follows if condition structure and executes line 3 when the conditional expressions at line 2 returns true. It will always execute line 4 and 5 even if the conditional expression at line 2 returns false value. Now let us start discussion for iteration statements. Iteration control structures repeat one or more statements for, while and do while are iteration control structures of Java. The first iteration control structure in our discussion is while repetition structure. It repeats a statement or block of statements while the control condition is true. General form of while is while keyword followed by condition in braces that is followed by a block which contains statements that are to be executed when control enters the block. While loop is useful when you have to repeat statements for an unspecified number of times. The while repetition statement executes the block only if the condition is initially true. When condition becomes false, control passes to the next line immediately after the block. Let us see a simple program that illustrates a while loop. Line 5 of this program declares an integer variable num. This will use to control while repetition statement. The conditional expression on line 6 compares the value of num with 0 and if it evaluates to true, it will execute the block from line 7 to line 10. Inside the block, num is decremented by 1 each time and the control is transferred to line 6. This process continues until the conditional expression at line 6 becomes false. And when the condition at line 6 becomes false, the program terminates. Let us see another program that demonstrates infinite nature of while loop. This program will not terminate and print true for infinite number of times. You will have to terminate it forcefully.